little short update on Lemley. And um, I didn't plan on doing this, but um, I, I watched uh, Marsha's podcast. Has anybody, has anybody else been looking at the, at the talk of Santa Clarita? The podcast and the talk of Santa Clarita? Well, the first one was excellent, but that was, uh, uh, you know, mine. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha McLean had one, and um, she went through her podcast, and one of the things that she did was she complained about misinformation being spread about the Lemley Project. She said, you know, I, I, you know I, I, she just, she was, she's beside herself about this misinformation and talks about it and said, where did the number $14 million come from? Well, I hate to tell you, Marcia, it came from the city presentation. So I just want you to realize that on July 14, 2015, if you like, you can watch the video, in the agenda item 18 staff report by, presented by Jason Crawford, and then also at the, um, at the successor agency, they talked about a city contribution for this project of $14 million. And um, uh, they also talked about, city talked about $4 million in economic benefit to local businesses. So here you're going to invest $14 million. I want to talk about the fact that, well, you know what? There's going to be an economic benefit, and we're going to get some money back, right? So uh, there's a $4 million in economic benefit to local businesses. I'll tell you what that means. If it's all taxable, it means $40,000 a year. How long does it take $40,000 a year to pay off $14 million? 350 years. Doesn't sound like a good deal to me. And then they talked about the construction of the 300 space parking structure. And uh, after this meeting, by the way, um, Ken Striplin did come over to me and say, you know, out of, at that time it was 13 million, out of the 13 million dollars, he said, nine and a half is a parking structure. And the, keep quest the question keeps coming up, where is the money coming from? We asked the question again today at Atna, where is the money coming from? And, uh, um, uh, nobody seems to know yet. Uh, Jason Crawford says, well, you know, we lent the, uh, we lent the um, uh, redevelopment agency uh, um, money, and according to the successor agency spreadsheet that I saw when I went to the meeting, um, they still owe us $13.5 million. Of course, they're paying it back to us at a rate of $100,000 a, a year. That's 135 years. So how are you going to use that money? I can, that's not enough revenue stream to borrow another $14 million. And Tim Ben said, well, no, it's just coming out of the general fund. Well, you know what? Tim Ben did us a favor. He went to the city council. Yeah, I'm sorry. He went to the city manager, and he said, show me. Show me the, um, the uh, uh, studies that says there's a $4 million economic uh, uh, advantage. Show me what these things are. Uh, um, uh, what these things say. Show me the parking study that says that there's going to be enough parking. And so this was the return correspondence from Ken Striplin. Notice that it's dated September the 22nd, so way after they've already been touting these numbers for a while. And I hope you can read that. But it says the economic study related to the potential economic input of the project is currently underway, and there are no documents at this time. Also, the parking study is currently underway, and there are no documents to provide that for that at this time. So in other words, those numbers came out of the air, right? They, they, did, they just, they, they came out of someone's imagination. So tell me, Marcia, who is it that's spreading the misinformation? So uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, I heard today that... Um, we should see something coming back to the city council in November. It'll go first, uh, early November. It should first go to uh, closed session, and then it'll, it'll come out again. Uh, Mr. Boyston is proposing a, a, uh, uh, an alternate project to the Lemley Theater project. He's, performing, he's uh, proposing one with um, uh, retail similar to, the, um, to what's currently on Main Street with uh, uh, the uh, rest of the um, 
uh, facility used for parking, and it would uh, it would uh, uh, meet the requirements of um, the retail plus 75 additional parking spaces to help um, alleviate the problems in New Hall. And and when I got when I got to thinking about that, I, I I just thought I actually did this at the end of the meeting. I said, can I check and raise with you, uh, Jason? What about, what what's the requirement for parking for the hotel? that they're talking about building. You know they're talking about building a hotel there, too. And the answer I got was this. Based upon the, the, the new codes and in the redevelopment area, it is um, commercial, uh, com commercial projects don't require any parking. Because, uh, because the plan is they're going to have a, they're going to build a 400 unit parking structure on both ends of Main Street that doesn't exist. But the hotel evidently is smarter than that, and they were talking about at least producing one parking space per room and um, some extra for their uh, employees. But the parking down there is getting bad. The traffic all over town is getting bad. Um, and we're going to have to do something to, uh, to make that stuff a little better. So um, anybody uh, have any questions? We'll, we'll just keep you posted on what's going on with Lemley. I, I, you know, from, from my standpoint, if, if um, uh, you know, you prioritize things. I, I do that at home. Don't you do that? You prioritize what do you want. And um, the mo is, is a movie theater subsidizing a private movie theater the most important thing here in Santa Clarita? No, I don't think so either. <laughs>